Yo, hey, what's going on guys, Insert here. So today we are recording a video on how to find ghost client strings. These are going to be mainly jar clients, but you can also find some jar injectables. So yeah, um, if you want to come join the server that I am currently staff on, uh, hurifle.com, uh, you can come play with Lambo, or the Manic Fancy, and you can even buy some Ethan versus uh, UM3 keys. So 75% uh, of the donations will be going to COVID-19 charities. So if you want to come help, come out the cause and also stay safe. Uh, this video is uh, heavily based on Controversed's video. So yeah, if you haven't seen that one already, he's a French YouTuber. Go check him out. He does some very good uh, screen sharing content. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so now we are in Minecraft with a hack client. If I press right shift, it opens up a GUI. This is Onyx client. So a normal GUI, everybody knows it. Just get up all of the tabs. So you can see all of these tabs right here have uh, different cheats. So you've got aim, aim assist, auto clicker, hitboxes, all of that jazz. So um, let's first talk about what are strings. Strings are characters in the game. So a string is self-destruct, sprint, aim assist, auto clicker, all of these. If I open something up, click aim is one, distance, max angle. Open up auto click and min CPS, jitter, inventory, all of it. These are strings. So we want to find these in Minecraft, right? So if I open up Process Hacker, I'll be able to find these if I look them up. So a quick way to open up uh, Java.w, if they've got loads of tabs up, is to just press on this Find Windows and Thread, hold left click and go to the uh, Minecraft window. Then you can go to Memory, Hide Free Region, Strings, For Image Mapped, and let's go straight to our strings okay so my strings are up so now we can just go to filter let me just move everything make sure we can see minecraft results filter case insensitive and we can just put aim assist right assist so we put aim assist there aim assist right here so that is corresponding to that if i put in click aim click aim so click aim is right here and you find click aim right here. So that's what um, strings are. So let's go into an actual SS by pressing self-destruct. Okay, so I just self-destructed Minecraft being bad, but yeah. So I just self-destructed, if I press right shift, nothing opens up. So if I go back to here, strings for image maps. So we're opening up the uh, self-destructed version now. Okay, so string just came up. If I look up filter and I put click aim now, click aim. It's not there anymore, so it has been self-destructed. So now we have to find more di different strings, so because those have been removed. So to do this, we are going to go to our dot Minecraft by going here, uh, pressing Windows key R, percent app data percent, going to dot Minecraft, and then going to uh, mods. So as you can see here, on the client. So this is the client that I'm currently using. So let's just put the let's copy this. Oh, actually no, we can just drag, drag and drop. If we try and drag and drop, it won't self-destruct because you can't delete. You cannot delete a mod that's currently in Minecraft. So we have to copy and paste it. So just pressing copy and pasting it right here. So here is the client. So if I minimize this, minimize all of this because nobody cares about it. So yeah, this is the client right now. To open it, you can just go right click and open with Rinra. So normally you'd be able to see the classes here, but as it's obfuscated, it's just an underscore. If I go into it, it all the classes just have no name. So you can't actually see this unless you um, put in extend Unicode while looking at results of Java W. But that takes like a year and you can't actually, there's like too many characters in Minecraft. So easiest way is just to do this. So you want to first copy all of these um, classes and put them into a other folder. So I've already done this. I go to my classes folder so yeah these are all of the classes in that mod so you want to find the biggest one so I've, you have to actually have a name in front of it so i just renamed them all one so the first one here is the biggest in size so to actually check the strings you want to download a application called bin text so bin bin text is a help helpful application because it shows every single string of a class so if i put this move this class into here you can see these are all of the strings of that class so you want to be careful in this because there's a lot of uh, strings like this, for example, where it's actually in Minecraft. So you don't you don't want to look up those kind of strings. You want to look for the weird strings like, for example, right here, uh, cracked by Regal 
enjoy your skid. So if we uh, go to our results right now and we filter ca case insensitive and we put cracked by, cracked by, and you can see in the results right here, cracked by regal. So uh, that so even while self destructed, these are things you can find. Uh, other things might be this one. So you can right click copy. So just to see if it's in Minecraft, just copy it, remove everything in front. Okay. You can see there's multiple results. So this could be a client. You can even open these up, check of the check the branch, see if there's anything you can find here. These aren't the best, but yeah. If we look up cracked again, we can check the branch of that as well. So I've put cracked by. So you 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 can already ban the player right now because you know there's not going to be a player that has cracked by in a mod. I'm sorry, you're not going to find a keystrokes mod cracked. Got to get your head out of the gutter at this point. So yeah, you can you can check here. There's nothing really important here though. There's nothing cool. So yeah, that's a string. So yeah, let's see if we can find a string for another client. Okay, so I just injected another client. This client is Bape. So as you can see here, and if we go to other, this is self-destruct. So yeah, we can do the same thing as we did with the other client. You can search up chest ESP and these will be here if it's not self-destructed. But if it's self-destructed by pressing self-destruct. So yeah, well, that was a fast self-destruct. So as you can see, as that was so fast. Uh, it probably doesn't actually self-destruct anything. It just uh, turns off the right shift probably. So yeah, let's go find some strings for this client too. Okay, so I just opened up my mods folder and this is the client right here. It's called Bape. So you just put it onto your desktop as we did with the other one. Just right click, open with Rinra. And you can see all the classes are already here. And these are a lot of classes. You can already ban for this if you find it. Just by right click and, che and checking the uh, Winra. But yeah, if you want to actually find a string for this, uh, you can go uh, save all of these and put them in classes, in a classes file. You want to take the biggest one, so the biggest one right now is 572 KB. If I open up Bintext once more, and we put this class into Bintext, you can see here are all of the strings right here. So there's a lot of strings, so all of these are actually a part of the mod. So you can see all of these strings, there's way too many here, but yeah, these are all of the strings right here. So yeah, I've already found one in this. If I go to uh, WinRAR and string for, so yeah, you can probably choose any of those. If you want to check this actually a string of the client, you can check it. If it comes up in Process Hacker, then close your MC, reopen it as uh, without the client, and then look to see if the string is in there. So if I go to here, paste it in, you have to remove all of the spaces before. If you do, I search it up and right here, there's the strings right there. If you, you can open it up, check, check more of it. Um, another string I saw was like a 7, yeah, right here, so this is another string right here. Uh, there's a few others, but these are the main strings right here. So you can look through the branch if you want to, find another string, but that's that's a way of finding a string of other clients. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.